everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a one week one palette i've done three looks with the nomad uh, fete de provence palette it was all voted number one in my community tab when i did a poll um it was very close it was between this one and another palette and i thought it was going to be the other palette but then two days later it was actually <laughs> the nomad palette um it's beautiful uh, this was released, I believe, sometime in the summer this year. I picked it up, um, and then since then they've released a couple more palettes, but I really do like this color story. I love that you've got the warm tones, uh, you know, the bright of it, and then also these deeper tones here. So anyway, enough talking, let's get into my looks, and then I will tell you what I think of this palette since I've been working on it quite a bit.
So as you can see, I have the third look on today, it's what I normally do, um, and I've gone all yellow, and I honestly think this is a very beautiful palette. I don't think it's my favorite Nomad palette. I have three palettes of theirs right now. I think the quality is better than the Tokyo palette that I have, just simply because that one is very powdery and the shimmers get hard pan, although I do feel like this one's going to get hard pan eventually, and this one as well. They're already like starting to get them. I think that's just the way that they do their formulas, to be honest. Um, but I feel like these mattes are less powdery. They're still very powdery, but I think they're less powdery than the Tokyo one. I still think the Cartagena Magica palette is very, very good. And I can't say for sure which one I like the best between those two. I don't know. I, I see. I really like the Tokyo one as well because I've just been working on it so much. So I think just because uh, I know the other palettes still a lot better than this one and I've hit pan in them, this is probably the third favorite, although it could be second best if I just continue to play with it. I've enjoyed every look that I've created with it. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't see any dead shades. I think everything has been really stunning. Um, so yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about it, to be honest. And I really like the packaging. I love that every single palette of theirs is a place that they've traveled to and it has that theme. I think it is very, very cool. I will carry on probably purchasing from Nomad. I mean, I have always had good experiences from them, but I'm obviously not gonna pick up every single palette. I just don't need to. And I think this combined with the Tokyo and the Cartagena Magica, I have a lot of shades now from Nomad that I can play with and alternate. And I don't know, it's gonna take a little bit more for me to buy another palette from them. But I definitely do like this palette. And obviously if you like the color story, I would recommend getting it. Um, you really only have the these two shades that are pretty impactful, and then this one is really beautiful. This one doesn't look like it's anything special in the palette, but it has a beautiful flip of purple to it, so it's a great inner corner. It is absolutely stunning. This one is really pretty. Um, it's like a yellow with some green to it, and then this shimmer over here is just a really beautiful lilac, yeah, I bet, I guess lilac, a little bit periwinkle, but mostly lilac shade. Very, very stunning. Um, this one is not the same type of shimmer formula as those others, but it is still good. And actually, I have it on today. I wasn't a huge fan of it at first. It is this more mid-tone yellow, but it has some peachiness to it, but you can only see it sometimes. So um, I quite like that. This one probably is my least favorite. I just, I don't know. It's just a, like a full on purple shimmer. It's a little dark for me, not the best. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this palette. Thank you so much for voting for it. I actually am going to do the same video for the Alva from Odin's Eye because that one was voted super, super high as well. To be honest, they were both tied and then somebody voted for this one. So this one won, so it's coming out first. But I did start filming the Alva um, one week, one palette video. So that one will be out um, in a few weeks time, I guess sometime in November. But thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.